Welcome to Granny's Book Nook. Today's story is The Night Before Halloween by Natasha Wing Illustrated by Cynthia Fisher Twas the night before Halloween and all through the house all the creatures were staring except for the mouse. The monsters had gathered to plan and prepare for the trick-or-treaters who soon would be there. Mummies unraveled and put on new wraps. Spiders found corners and spawned silky traps. Count Dracula grinned and slicked back his hair. Frankenstein's bride cried, I've nothing to wear. Hurry up, said a ghoul who started to yawn. There's so much to do before bedtime at dawn. So the witches brewed up a magical potion which set every monster and goblin in motion. They blew up balloons and hung streamers and lights and decorated till the wee hours of night. Meanwhile, the children were tucked snug in their beds while visions of candy corn danced in their heads. In the morn when they woke, it was Halloween day. There was bobbing for apples and rides in the hay. There were costume parties and games to be played, cupcakes and candy, and of course, a parade. After dinner was served and the kids were done eating, it was finally time to go trick-or-treating. Moms repainted faces and straightened clown hats, put wings back on fairies, angels, and bats. Jack-o'-lanterns were set out on porches with care. Their grins seemed to say, Knock if you dare. Gypsies and pirates and zombies in rags grabbed their bright flashlights and trick-or-treat bags. They walked down each lane, avenue, and street rang every doorbell and said, Trick or treat! But just when the children thought they were done, the princess said, We've forgotten just one. So they walked to the house at the top of the hill, which gave all the kids a spine-tingling thrill. They stood on the porch and were ready to knock when they heard heavy footsteps and a turn of the lock. When what to their curious eyes should loom but a wicked old witch holding a broom. Her cape, how it shimmered, her face, oh, how scary. Her hat was so pointy, it frightened the fairy. The wicked witch said, welcome, we have a surprise. And the children yelled, Run! It's not a disguise! The monsters were sad when the children ran away. They wanted the children to come in and play. The wicked witch said, We can have our own fun. Come on, little monsters. The night's just begun. The monsters all cheered as they danced with delight. Happy Halloween to all, and to all a fright night. Thank you for visiting Grammy's Book Nook. To get more information for this book, check the description box below. Be sure to thumbs up this video. Click the subscribe button for the latest videos on Grammy's Book Nook.